Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this very easy cell phone pouch. So let's get started. I'm working with Red Heart Super Saver yarn, which is worsted weight, and a 6mm crochet hook. Start with a slip knot, chain 36. I have chain 36. If you have a larger phone, start with a longer foundation chain and stretch the foundation chain a little bit. You should be able to fold the work in half and have enough to bring down a little flap. Now this is going to stretch long enough to, to fit my phone, but again, if you have a larger phone, add more to your foundation chain. Half double crochet in the second stitch from the hook. To make a half double crochet, yarn around the hook insert it into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, then pick up the yarn and pull it through all three loops on the hook. So you're going to go work all the way down the foundation chain, working one half double crochet in each stitch. So that is this row, and it's a row of half double crochet. And now I'm going to do the next row, which is twisted double crochet. Chain two and turn. That chain two takes the place of that first stitch. So now I'm going to skip that stitch and I'm going to double crochet in that stitch. To double crochet, yarn around the hook, skip the stitch, insert into the next stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. Now I'm going to go back to the stitch that I skipped and I'm going to double crochet in that stitch. Like that. Now I'm going to continue that all the way down the row. So I'm going to skip the stitch and work into this stitch. So again, yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, Go back to the stitch that was skipped and double crochet in that stitch. Like that. And that's how that looks. And you're going to go ahead and do that all the way down the row. Okay, so after you have worked all the way down the row, I'm just going to work a small section here. You will have your row of half double crochet and your row of twisted double crochet. And now the next two rows are two rows of single crochet. So for single crochet, you'll chain one and turn, insert the hook into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through both loops. You're going to go ahead and work all the way down the row, making one single crochet in each stitch. When you get to the end of the row, you're always going to work in that last chain two. So I now have this row, this row, and my first row of single crochet. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. Like that. And that's how much I've worked. Now the next row is another row of twisted double crochet. And when you're at the end of the row, you're always going to have to chain two and turn. And then that double crochet will take the place of the first stitch and you'll go right over to beginning to make the twisted double crochet. So you'll skip this stitch, double crochet in this stitch. Now go back and work into the stitch that was skipped and continue across the row. Skip, double crochet, go back and work into the skipped stitch. You're going to continue across the row. Skip, double crochet, go back and work into the skipped stitch. 
And again at the end of the row, work a double crochet in that last stitch. Chain two and turn. And I'm going to half double crochet in each one of these stitches all the way across the row. Okay, so that's how the finished work looks. If you have a larger phone and you need a wider pouch, you could add an extra row of single crochet here. Now I'll show you how to work this row with the buttonhole. Once you have your rectangle worked, you'll have ended at one corner. So now you're just going to single crochet across the row, and in the center stitch you're going to make the buttonhole. Now I know that the center stitch for me is between these two single crochet rows. You can actually find yours by folding your work in half. So just going to single crochet until I get to the center stitch and for me that is between this, these two rows of single crochet. There's one row single, there's one, so I'm going to make my center stitch in here. So single crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, Five. Now if you have a larger button, add additional chains. Single crochet in that same stitch. And then single crochet in each stitch across the remainder of the row. And then you can fasten off and there's your buttonhole. So now you're going to fold your work in half. Arrange it so that it fits your phone. Now with the same yarn, so the two ends closed. So now you're going to bring your flop over and sew a button or a bead here like that. For a strap, you could make a strap out of some denim the way I made this one. And I'll put the link below for the video on how to make this denim strap. And I'll also put the link below for the videos on all my purse straps. So you can just choose whichever one you want to use as a strap. And you can attach the strap on each side. To make a tassel, I just have a piece of cardboard here. You can make your tassel any length that you would like. I'm just going to wind the yarn around my cardboard like that and you can wind it as many as you want I wound it around 12 times and then cut the yarn now you're going to cut another length of yarn and pass it under the yarn and tie a tight knot Now you can cut open the loops like that. Now take another piece of yarn and just come down about half an inch or three quarters of an inch. And I'm just going to wrap the yarn around several times and then tie a knot. And then to hide these yarn ends, I'm going to thread them into a yarn needle. And I'm just going to go in there and pull them down inside and then trim the ends evenly. And there's your basic tassel. Now if you want to make it a little bit fancier, you can pass some beads on these yarn ends and then either sew it directly to your project or sew a ring on the end of the tassel. And there's your finished phone pouch. Now I attached the handles. I attached the tassel. I added a little tag, and there's a very easy cell phone pouch that you can make. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.